Minecraft's 1.21 or Tricky Trials update is releasing as Minecraft's smallest update in many, many years, possibly even up to a decade, at least since Update Aquatic, certainly. So the question to ask here is, why? Why is it such a small update? So that's what we're going to be answering in this video. So stick around if you want to, strap yourselves in, and I hope you enjoy to some extent. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into this. Why would the update be small as it is? And why I want to clarify is that, yes, comparing this update's size to other updates within recent years, it is substantially smaller. We've seen almost this weird pattern here, like putting it on a graph of updates over the past few years just getting smaller and smaller ever since the Nether update. Like, they peaked there in quantity and quality, and then since Caves and Cliffs have just kind of been on a decline and part of that was probably due to you know covid and also the caves and cliffs of course got delayed the generation new terrain generation and all of that stuff proved to be difficult to code so that makes sense and all that but then seeing it drop off again here with tricky trials from trails and tales is really concerning uh, to see in general. If you line up the updates snapshot cycle, Tricky Trials and Trails and Tales from last year, you can see that there was almost like a several week delay with Tricky Trials. It was moving along much slower than Trails and Tales was for some reason. And we didn't know why. A lot of people thought Mojang was just working on something big behind the scenes and they were going to reveal it at the end or for the anniversary. Obviously, that didn't happen. So what was going on? What was up with all of that seemingly wasted time? Well, <laughs> that is what we're trying to answer here. So number one for reasons is that what you need to understand is development in general is a very tricky process game development you can hit all kinds of unexpected roadblocks bump it's not a straight line path you're gonna find all kinds of unexpected setbacks and it's certainly possible and very likely that that happened with Tricky Trials just more than it did with other past updates for some reason, as of to what specifically could have caused, caused sorry, such huge setbacks in development. We can only really speculate, but what is likely is, as the developers talked about in one of the recent Minecraft videos, that the trial spawner was a complex block that if i had to guess was probably a cause of setbacks and delays in development here right having to detect the players around the block and everything the site range the developers talked about and giving it an ominous state too that was probably a large cause of early on setbacks which explained why we didn't see the tricky trials all of the content until several weeks after minecraft live meanwhile with trails and tales we saw all of the content like right after minecraft live that year so that kind of got us started on this already lagging behind path that we just kind of kept up with for a snapshot cycle sort of just falling further behind with seemingly even more setbacks probably with trial chamber generation until we were just really far behind 
winding up trails and tails and tricky trials. Tricky trials was just really far behind trails and tails and all of the other updates before it resulting in just a smaller update upon release. That's seemingly what the cause of all of those long gaps between snapshots or content filled snapshots was was just unforeseen setbacks in development is likely what caused it things that mojang didn't expect and before we move on to the next reason here because there is another but that one is definitely an important one I want to verify why this is an important thing to talk about because I've seen this mentality a lot recently in the Minecraft community that you shouldn't really question Mojang. I've even seen these kinds of videos dubbed as hate by some people. It's it's blatantly ridiculous in full honesty. But anyway... This is the good kind of video to be making to wonder about this stuff and to better yet try and figure out because in a situation like this, we're getting smaller update after smaller update and for all we know, this could just continue on until we're just getting next to nothing. I Obviously, I don't think that's going to happen, but following the trend we've been seeing, that's what would so, we haven't had any explanation offered by Mojang. In fact, even worse, Mojang has said the opposite. That they've been making development tools to expedite development, to get updates out quicker, larger updates, and that they've been hiring more developers to help too. So, we should be getting larger updates quicker and that's the opposite of what we've been seeing. We saw it take longer to get out smaller snapshots and in turn a smaller annual update with tricky trials. It didn't make sense. There was a contradiction between what Mojang said was going to happen and what is now actually happening, if that makes sense. So that is just something that's weird and with no solution proposed, we need to try and find one ourselves, basically, is the summary of it. And this whole mentality of uh, just be grateful, you know, that's good, of course. But the told don't question it thing or don't think about it is just stupid, honestly. You should always question things if you have say you know rations gain smaller and smaller each day like updates gain smaller and smaller every year with no given explanation you should of course question that and try and figure out the reason that's just something that in general in life is good to do anyway but with that out of the way we can get into other potential reasons so we already talked about the trial spawner being complicated as a block that very likely a cause for setback the other thing is that this update did kind of get split in two because we also saw the armadillo and wolf update earlier with uh 1.20.5 for Java on 1.20.8 for Bedrock. So we also got that, which kind of, you know, detracted away from a bit from this update, took some time from Mojang that could have been spent on this update. The other thing that I ugh, don't even like talking about anymore is yes, the April Fool's snapshot is on the table here. As I talked about in my whole video essay rant about that April Fool's snapshot, the evidence suggested with the frying table and everything, 
that Mojang was working on that April Fool snapshot for at least four to three months. So clearly a good amount of time went into that. I don't think that really took away from tricky trials. Of course, I'd imagine they have, you know, different staff members working on different things, some working more on the April Fool's snapshot than a lot more working on the actual annual update, of course. So I, it's on the table, but I don't think in the end that really took a lot away from 1.21. So in the end, the sad reality is that we won't know for sure why this update was so small, but it's a massive concern. Again, if this continues and Mojang doesn't even talk about it, instead tries to do, you know, a like blatant, I don't want to say, <laughs> tries to say that it's going to be quicker updates, larger updates, and then we see the opposite of that. That's a massive cause for concern. It's blatant. Really not true, obviously, from what we've seen. Now, that being said, this update, we have seen some technical updates, in quotation marks. Because, really, if you talk to anyone who isn't a Mojang employee who makes, like, Minecraft mods or whatever has gone to the code... Everyone I've talked to has said it is a pain to make a Minecraft mod or go into the code, and it is coded so terribly and inconveniently. And that's after all of Mojang saying that they're making it, you know, quicker to work with. So we haven't really even seen any evidence of that in the game's coding itself. It hasn't gotten any easier from everyone that i've heard from this isn't completely my area of expertise so i might be a bit wrong about that and i'm i apologize if i am but really what i think mojang was more referring to was data pack tools you see like every single snapshot almost we had this snapshot cycle it was a new version of data packs they are really really pushing data packs and making them easier to develop. And that's like that's not bad really. But it is in some way. Because Mojang doesn't use those own tools that they're making. They don't use these tools that they're taking the time to make. They continue to seemingly use that really inconvenient code that they've been using for Minecraft. Completely ignore the data packs. Those are just for other people you know just random people who want to make data packs which is cool also though data packs just have a lot of limits to them like there's a lot of stuff that you you know could do with a mod you can do really anything with a mod but there's a lot of things that you can't do with the data pack because you're working within boundaries that mojang has already created themselves basically like, you can't add new blocks, which is, um, uh, yeah, that's kind of the biggest, most ridiculous example, obviously. But you get the point. Huge limits with data packs. Probably why Mojang doesn't use them to develop their updates, though they could use them for some things like mobs and such. So why are they doing all of this work to make data packs easier to develop instead of making the actual game code easier to work with? I don't know. There's really no reason for it, right? Like, if they made the actual code itself easier to work with, then they would also be making modders' jobs easier. It would just be a win for like everyone but anyway that is likely the technical changes that mojang was referring to to 
expedite development. Maybe not because, you know, they said expedite development. You could infer that they meant expedite development for themselves, which is completely reasonable. And data packs don't expedite development of the game itself at all. They're just for people who want to make data packs. So, yeah, that is what it boils down to in the end. Just unforeseen setbacks with all of the weird new features of this update like the trial spawner being complex the trial chambers in their generation have had many bugs you know there's a whole bunch of new complex things with this update in the end it still doesn't fully check out with getting new staff members development developers and tools to expedite development it to a degree no matter what really how you look at it it doesn't make sense completely you can justify it partly with development setbacks but in the end there's just clearly something we don't know about something that was so big that left people to speculate that the reason for uh, this update being so small and these gaps between snapshots was that Mojang was working on some big update behind the scenes, right? There's something we don't know about that is going on behind the scenes. I don't mean a big update, but something that is causing this update to be smaller that we can't know about separate from the development setbacks that we can of course speculate about so in conclusion we can't know for sure the whole story but a lot of it was probably just unforeseen development setbacks but there's probably something we don't know about too and really can't know about unless Mojang decides to communicate it which would be nice and again I'm gonna say this again I don't mean any hate I'm trying to spread positivity more than anything here which uh, hasn't always seemed well received but anyway I'm also just trying to offer explanations for things that are happening not wild speculation because when you have these things happening and we don't know why they're happening mojang doesn't comment or give answers it leaves people to crazy speculation sometimes and so i'm trying to fill in that gap a bit if that makes sense you know offer a more reasonable rational explanation So, that will finally do it for this video. My throat is dry. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far and aren't subscribed, maybe you should consider doing it. Helps me a ton. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.